Okay, um, in a video that I have yet to upload onto YouTube, I talked about different comparisons between World of Warcraft and Age of Conan. Um, this is the Barbarian, which is basically, it's a rogue archetype, but they can use two-hand axes, swords, and blunts, which it's pretty damn cool. I mean, cause you, could you imagine, like, you know, if you're a WoW player, and could you imagine, like, if your rogue could use two-hand weapons, how cool that would have been? Yeah, that is Age of Conan, and, um, that's one of the things that makes this game fucking great. Um, I've been drinking a little bit of sangria, so... <laughs> I almost forgot to turn on my recording software to record this part, but... Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm going to show you um the auction house real quick. That this is this is how you get your mail. You'd go to a trader located in the center of the town and uh this is how you get your mail too cuz I've got mail in here. Try to swap out gear that I can wear or whatever. Okay, I know it's kind of odd to talk about a video that I've yet to upload, but by the time I upload this, you guys will know what I'm talking about, but, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna just, I made a couple of different characters, and I'm gonna show you different, uh, characteristics of them, and I'm going to explain why I think they're similar to World of Warcraft, or why, I'm gonna state my case as to why I think World of Warcraft stole ideas from Funcom. That was another reason why I wanted to make these videos. mentioned this before, but you wake up all characters, regardless of what class or archetype you are, wake up on the shores of Tortage, and you have to do these things called Destiny Quests. And you do the Destiny Quests to recover your soul or something, or your memories or whatnot. And, uh, since I'm doing this video currently on the Barbarian, and it is a rogue archetype, a lot of your destiny quests are going to involve utilizing your rogue abilities, such as stealthing and stealing items. A lot of sneaking around and climbing. Climbing is a different thing you should probably have not seen in any other MMO, which is another cool thing I like about this game. Um, when you go to climb something, you can't just climb any or whatever random wall you come upon. It has to be specific locations. And you'll know that you can climb a certain area because it'll show a cogwheel 
and you click that and it'll make you so you can climb up and down it or whatever. And climbing involves a certain amount of skill points on certain locations. I just wanted to explain why some of this video has me talking, vlogging in it, and not all gameplay. Um, sometimes I can use my headset along with the vent to record voiceovers for gameplay, um, but it's kind of awkward at times because I am a new Age of Conan player to do this while I'm playing the game, um, and plus I, it's kind of a pain in the ass to do it after I've already filmed gameplay. So I'm more comfortable filming it like this, and plus I feel like I can explain it better after I can think about what I want to say, instead of trying to wing it while I'm playing the game at the same time. Um, I'm going to do a couple of videos like this for each class. Not every. I'm not going to do every class, because there's a few classes I'm just not going to do, but I'm going to do classes that are similar to all of them, and explain different things about them. And um, I also wanted you guys to, I found this um, other channel, and this guy makes some beautiful cinematic videos about the Age of Conan. I really wanted you guys to check this out. I thought it would be, you know, cool if you looked at his channel. Um, beautiful, beautiful videos. Um, they're not, you know, anything like mine. I mean, I explain technical stuff, whereas he's just showing, you know, just gameplay and cinematics from the game. Really, really beautiful videos go ahead and check them out. Um, so until later, peace.